Phylogeny and cladistics. Phylogeny. Scientists can further classify a species based on its probable evolutionary history. A phylogeny is a graphic method of illustrating the evolutionary relationships between species. So for example, in mammalian phylogeny, the earliest common ancestor was 170 million years ago that evolved from a reptilian ancestor, and so the monotremes, which include the platypus and the echidnas, lay eggs like their reptilian ancestors. And then more recently, uh, the marsupials branched off. They include the kangaroos and the wallabies. Uh, they raise their fetuses in a pouch. And then the eutherians, which include rodents, humans, and all other placental mammals, raise their fetuses in a womb. Phylogenetic trees. Phylogenetic trees are used to show relatedness amongst organisms. Branches separate organisms based on traits they have in common. Biologists use two methods to place organisms on the phylogenetic tree. Morphological similarities, these are similarities in body structure and embryonic development. And then molecular similarities, these are similarities in DNA, RNA, and proteins. Phylogenetic trees are constantly changing to fit in the new information that scientists learn. How to read a phylogenetic tree. Start by locating the root. The common ancestor of all taxa shown, at the bottom or left of the diagram. Follow changes in biodiversity over the passage of time by moving upward or rightward. The root is the last common ancestor of this clade. That's the longest time ago. As time progresses forward, going in the upward direction, we see the groups branching out. The last common ancestor of all the species that appear later is up here. That happened later in time, and then that branches out to new species that shared that common ancestor. How to read a phylogenetic tree. At each branch point or node, locate the common ancestor of all taxa that follow. A speciation event in that common ancestor led to the divergent branches that follow. Again, the root at the very bottom is where it all started, then each branch point is a node. So there's a node right here, and there's a node right here. At these nodes, some speciation event occurred that caused uh, the species to evolve into new species. Cladistics. One of the tools used to create a phylogeny is cladistic analysis. A cladogram is a special type of phylogenetic tree that uses derived traits to determine which species are most closely related. In this cladogram, the derived traits are shown in red. Derived traits are traits that are shared by all individuals on a particular branch, but do not appear in ancestors. So for example, hair is a trait that appears in the horse, wolf, leopard, and domestic cat. It appears in all those but it does not appear in the common ancestor, nor does it appear in the turtle. Another way to show it. In this cladogram, we start off with the common ancestor down at the bottom, and it sort of works like a timeline. The oldest period of time is at the bottom, and then as time progresses, we move up. And then organisms that are most to the left are most like the common ancestor, and organisms more to the right are more evolved. Clade. A clade is a group of organisms believed to have evolved from a common ancestor, according to the principles of cladistics. The closer together two organisms are in the cladogram, the more shared traits they have in common, therefore the more related they are. In this cladogram, clades are shown in different colors. So for example, within the orange clade, we have the derived trait of hair found in the horse, wolf, leopard, and domestic cat, but not found in the turtle. The yellow includes the carnivores, the wolf, leopard, and domestic cat, but does not include the horse.